they're going. That's yeah. where they're going with turning it all into a prison. Mm -hmm. And people ask, well, how is insurance companies going to make money when it's driverless cars? The long phase out, they're going to double and triple charge people that don't drive driverless cars. They're going to phase in the driverless cars with Mercedes, Audi, and others that have them where they automatically start slowing down. Yeah. And thinks you're going to hit somebody. And sure, that's probably good in and of itself, except it's AI. It's taking control. Just like calculators in 30 years from Texas Instruments have made us going from being good with arithmetic in our heads to not even knowing how to do it. Yeah. Or spell checkers. This stuff has a, <laughs> has a so side effect of dumbing us down. We should make the conscious decision to not go in this direction and develop technological applications and use that empowers humanity. There should at least be a debate about it. And there's a lot of things that do do that. And again, uh, being an individualist anarchist goes back to taking responsibility. So as a woman, I own a gun because that is... As a uh, purple penguin. <laughs> the word woman might hurt somebody's feelings. Oh, yeah. Uh, soon natural birth will be illegal because transgender people can't give natural birth. And by the way, don't joke. They're actually talking about that. Now, now say I'm a purple I'm penguin. I'm not joking. Say no. I'm a purple I'm penguin. I'm a purple penguin who owns a gun. And I think all women should own guns. All, sorry, all purple penguins should own guns. And um, I think there's a clip that you guys can show. And I've really summarized why quite well. Let's go to this purple penguin clip. This is a purple penguin with a gun. <laughs> Women's rights and gun rights are congruent. Most females are physiologically smaller than most males. This puts women at a great disadvantage in a life-threatening situation against a man. A gun is an equalizer. Without it, the equality between sexes is a joke. But wait a minute. To even say that women on average aren't as strong as men is sexist and is part of the hierarchy of male oppression that you're defending yeah. and helping. I've never heard such thought crime. It's crazy. Are you saying I can't have a baby? Because you're <laughs> claiming I'm not as e equal to you with, in a reproductive way. That's sexist as well. I'm a I, purple penguin. I can lay eggs. I think I think the Olympics shouldn't be broken up into sexes anymore. We should all have the Olympics as one gender. And if women can't keep up and compete with the men, um, then that's sexist and they should be executed. Well, actually, you should give the men hormones to turn them into women. Oh, yeah. Well, we're already doing that. All the, all the estrogen from the birth control pill, you're drinking that every day. No big deal. So Let's not worry about so the social the engineering, though. Let's just <laughs> worship Rachel Maddow. Oh, God, is she even a woman? <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I'm actually gay, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm dating a man named Rachel Maddow. <laughs> I this is never going to end, this uh, joke. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They're going to take that out of context and loop it. No, seriously. I have a picture. <laughs> absolutely, it is true. Well, I'm dating Rachel Maddow. She's a man. And if they attack that on there, give me a break. It's humor. She, well, she's a public figure. She should uh, anticipate attack. I'm going to be honest. Rachel, I want to date you. <laughs> well, they say taste changes to get older. And I mean, I think I think he's a good looking she, stud. She has nice suits. <laughs> I, I mean, look, admit that she's a good looking guy. I admit it. You I, know, she is the I can't only watch her because I get a bit, you know. Hot, so I have to leave the room. Really? You're attracted <laughs> yeah. to Mr. Mano? Oh, my God. We're going to have to compete. <laughs> so you are actually attracted to him, too? Yeah. He's taking me out for steaks later. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> we got to get serious here. Okay, Take let's get call. serious with Bill and then Neil. Bill is calling from Tennessee. Alex Jones predictions not happening. Go ahead. Afternoon. Um, I'm listening to you off and on for a couple of years now, and... So far, I mean, let's see. Um, where are the FEMA camps, Alex? Who's going for your guns, Alex? Jade Helm, you pipe that, nothing happened. I'm sorry. I mean, you just consistently fear monger and fail this. And, and the New World would know. Bilderberg, nothing happens. You're, you're continually saying that and nothing ever happens. And before you say it, trying to stop it, that's just the easy way out. Are you a joke caller trying to make me look good, or are you serious? I'm serious. Well, we never said, Jade where, 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 Hill, let me talk. You, you made some statements. Just excuse me for a moment. You said, I'm going to skip this network break coming up. You said that I was saying Jade Helm was going to be a takeover. Or, or you imply that. I never said that. That's a construct of my boyfriend, Mr. Maddow. Uh, you expand upon that with a bunch of other statements about where's the FEMA camps. Since I first started exposing emergency centers 
in the mid 90s when we were t confirmed it through classified sources about the re-education camps under the uh, different programs like the civilian inmate labor camp program that was declassified in 99 now they have released the army manuals for the emergency centers establishment system where it admits the plans under emergency to round up political dissidents and put us basically in forced labor camps. You can read that at army.mil. We wrote articles about it linked. We're, we're trying to fight them getting the guns. They've taken the guns everywhere else in the world, but a handful of nations. They admit they want our guns. They're talking about taking the guns away from Social Security recipients now. That's mainstream news. Uh, the borders are wide open outside of law. They're shutting off power plants outside of law. They're signing us on to trillions in derivatives outside of law. They're delivering armored vehicles, a local department saying it's for the veterans and gun owners. And I mean, look, we're, we've stalemated the enemy 95%. They're kind of still winning in a few places, but we're in a death battle. And they've done mass uh, confiscation, illegal confiscation of guns in Canada as well. Absolutely, but this guy calls in and says nothing's happening and laughs in a satisfied way like I've been proven wrong. I mean, it's like declaring that Mark Twain was dead when he wasn't. I mean, you're a joke, Bill. I mean, are you for real? Are you for real? Who can deny we're descending into tyranny? Descending into tyranny. Yeah, Alex, it's everywhere is tyranny. Look behind you is tyranny. Again, FEMA camps. Have you, where, 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 where are they, Alex? What, who's been put in FEMA camps, Alex? You say you've been listening for years. You can type in re-education camps manual, infowars.com, and then you can link through to army.mil and read it, and then you can read mainstream news articles that came out a month after confirming our report. Uh, we oh, broke the secret it. documents from the FBI, state police, federal marshals uh, seven years ago about the plan to put uh, and, and demonize and go after patriots. And people still say that's fake. Uh, I mean, the truth is, we're not lying here. You're hoping people don't go look up these army manuals. You're just targeting people you think are stupid. Let me give you the field manual. Let me just give you one of the field manuals. Okay, FM 3-39.40. Are you able to write stuff down? Alex, shut up. Says shut up and answer my questions. I'm going to put up, because this is serious stuff, okay? Don't act like a weasel punk. Put it back on screen for him, please. FM 3-39.40, internment resettlement operations, February 2010, leaked in 2012. The Army first denied it, then confirmed it two weeks later and said that we shouldn't have it. That was covered Every by major time. newspapers. Are you saying that isn't real? Every time. You have something like that, I've researched it. You take a small bit of truth, it's a small bit of information, and turn it into a huge thing, and usually end up being wrong. Okay, yeah. that is total bull. Do. Just like Planned Parenthood uh -huh. said, none of the videos were real. Then they were edited. Not, then they weren't selling the body parts. Oh, the, the Planned Parenthood not, it didn't Alex. sell the baby parts? If you're talking about burning for research, then yes, they do. Well, let me ask you this. Why would they sell body parts? Because they make money. Uh, no, they don't sell body parts. They research, research relation, sure, and they pay for storage and transportation, sure. Bill, are you a social oh, worker? That's, that's irrelevant, Alex. That's my question. Why would they sell body parts? I'm going to ask you one more time. Are you a social worker? That's irrelevant. My, my, that's irrelevant, Alex. Uh, okay, what is your What's profession? Irrelevant? No, I, I, I just hear that's this. Irrelevant. You're in your own little power paradigm where you're no. ruling over everything, and you think you control reality, and you think you can run a Svengali on me and, and gaslight me, and you can't do it, and you can't do it to our audience. Listen, I'm going to ask you again. Are, are you, you, you work for a state government? That's irrelevant, Alex. What it's not irrelevant. irrelevant. You know what Alex Hey, says. let's just see if I'm right with my little hunch here. Tell me right now, Mr. Big Brain, are you... Okay. Or have you ever been a social worker? No. Nope. So you're not a government worker? No. Nope. I'm interested. What is your profession? Why is, that, why is that relevant? Because I just wonder how stupid you can be. Well, how stupid I can be? Every time, you, every time you've read something, Alice, on the air, I have gone and researched it. And usually it ends up being one small okay, That's a lie to target new listeners or people uh, listening no, on no, WBCR. No. <laughs> to then think we're not telling the truth. No, we put up the full manual that talks about processing people with their social security numbers and families, and I've got footage myself shot 
and countless other videos of people screaming, I'm an American, don't put me in the camp, don't take my guns, in videos, and the police saying the MRAP tanks are for the American people. Now, is that not true either? Are you referring to the training exercise that they do? With yeah, if they're training to take so. on veterans and gun owners, and, the, and they say the armored vehicles are for us, what does that mean, jackass? Jackass? I'm, I'll see the conversation's gone a nice turn. Yeah, no, no, you um, are a stubborn jackass. In the Bible, it talks about people acting like a, an ass. I, I think you're giving this guy You are acting like an ass. All right, I, I appreciate your I'll, time. I'll quote uh, Satoshi Nakamoto, who invented Bitcoin, and he said, if you don't get it, I don't have time for you. That's it. Well, I mean, I, th I think that guy was for real. Oh, of course. I mean, there's loads of people who feel that way, and it's um, it's a defense mechanism. And, I mean, people don't have to, uh, you know, people... No, they oh. used to tell me yeah. that there was no such thing as the NSA 20 years ago. Oh, yeah. No such thing as Echelon. I'd have major whistleblowers on, and people would say, that wasn't the former producer of Nightline. That wasn't the former NSA officer. And you don't have to believe everything. But now it's right? all out in the open. Yeah. Proven right again. Proven <laughs> right again. You don't have to believe everything that anybody says, but you, there must be, if you don't understand that there's something deeply wrong with most things that we are told, then you are living in a fog of your own illusion, okay? Sure, well, I mean, I don't need to call him names. I mean, I'm intellectual enough to come up with terms for it, but when somebody acts like a baby and just puts out this info, he is a jackass. I, I still think he's a social worker just from the way he was speaking. Oh, I'm... That's why he didn't answer the question, because you don't want to say yes. He'd rather say don't surprise. Yeah, I think he was lying. I think he's a yeah. social worker. Uh, I, I've just learned the self-satisfied, and they're not all like that. Some of them are nice, but mm -hmm. I've run into that. I've just learned the little self-satisfied thing, like they're in control. They talk real soft to you, like you're a joke. It's all condescension. Yeah. You know, whatever, buddy. You don't control reality. And I'll say boy or girl, father, or mother, husband, wife. I'll never say purple penguin. Yeah, well, there's there's something deeply wrong, and you they want to control everything like do. cult leaders. There's there's a man because they're building a giant crap hole. You <laughs> people produce, you know what, and we're sick of you. We, we don't want to be led by you. We don't like you. We don't like your labels. Go to hell. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> when when America's throwing people like Ross Ulbricht in jail for starting a website while and and giving him a harsher sentence than people who have killed multiple people or raped multiple people, we know that there's an agenda of oppression and control in America, and uh, the government is scared of independent thought. Look at how Canada yeah. extradites people that say the Holocaust didn't happen. Now I may not agree with what they're saying, mm. uh, but the point is these people get put in solitary confinement for decades in Germany. Ernst Zundel and people, because someone said something political that Canada didn't agree with, that's a tyranny. Yep. And the, f the interesting thing is Israel themselves uh, denied the Holocaust for the first few years after it occurred because they were embarrassed. So uh, there was a whole portion of Jews who just denied that it ever happened. And nobody was prosecuted for that. I mean, this is, we still have to adhere to, even well, if once they set it, the precedent yeah. that they can arrest you for saying the Holocaust didn't happen, or saying 5 million, died, then they can start arresting you for everything. Yeah, Bible free speech versus is dead. Free speech purple is penguin, dead. you don't say that? Yeah, it's terrible. It's dead in Canada. It's happening. You guys still have the Constitution and the Bill of Rights protecting you in some cases, but it's it's being uh, degraded to a huge extent. Hey, you want to host the next segment? I, I've got to go to a business meeting, but you, you're, <laughs> yeah, you're leaving sure, back to Toronto sure. tomorrow. You can come in in the next segment and actually take these phone calls. Yeah, uh, just and, phone and, calls. And, and then cover news is an 18 minute segment. But right now, let's go to Neil in Ohio. Neil, you're on the air. Or I'm sorry, that's a male name. Purple Penguin in Ohio, you're on the air. Hey, how you doing, Alex? It's an honor. Hey, uh, you mentioned earlier that uh, for us to get the information out before anything kicks off, and I just wanted to remind your listeners that when uh, these shooting events take happen, that uh, we need to be taking notes. Uh, to catch changing stories like in Aurora and Sandy Hook. Uh, and also, today i was been watching the news of this shooting, uh, this Flanagan character, and they're making a big deal about how he had a social media account. I just was wondering your thoughts on, obviously, this is going to impact the gun control push, but do you think it could uh, open the door for some sort of social media background checks? I mean, Obama did just say, ignore ideologies that run counter to where we need to go. Sure, they're going to use this for cybersecurity as well, but really it's a Black Lives Matter 
looks like a mentally ill 